The International Union of Anthropological and Ethnological Sciences IUAES, is the largest world forum of anthropologists and ethnologists, with members from more than 50 countries. Every five years, in different parts of the world, the IUAES sponsors a major congress ICAES, World Congress, gathering researchers from all of the various subfields and branches of anthropology. The IUAES was founded under the auspices of UNESCO in 1948. The International Congress of Anthropological and Ethnological Sciences ICAES had been separately founded in London in 1934. The two organizations united in 1948, and merged officially in 1968. In 2018, IUAES became one of the chambers of the newly established World Anthropological Union War. The main objective of the IUAES is the internationalization of anthropology, and the cross-cultural honing and public dissemination of anthropological research perspectives. History The earliest predecessor of the IUAES was the International Congress of Anthropology and Prehistoric Archaeology, which was founded in La Spezia, Italy, in 1865. In 1932, in Baal, Switzerland, it was decided to split the Congress into two sections, one for the anthropological and ethnological sciences and one for the prehistoric and protohistoric sciences. This is how the ICAES was born, becoming operative in 1934, when it held its first meeting in London, UK. Meetings were scheduled for every four years, but only one more Congress was held, in Copenhagen, Denmark, in 1938, before World War II made it impossible for people to convene. It took ten years before the next Congress was held, in 1948, in Brussels, Belgium. Here a special committee was established to be concerned solely with anthropological interests and this became the IUAES. It was formed under the aegis of UNESCO and became a member of the International Council for Philosophy and Humanistic Studies which it remains to this day. The four-year Congress cycle continued with meetings in Vienna 1952, Philadelphia 1956, Paris 1960, and Moscow 1964. Up to this point the IUAES remained separate from the ICAES, and was presided over by different people until Henry Valois took over both presidencies in 1956. Just four years prior to this, in 1952, the International Social Science Council was founded and the IUAES has been represented in it ever since. By 1964, at the ICAES in Moscow, it was decided that the two organizations be joined de facto. At the following Congress, in Tokyo 1968, they were united de jure. At the same Congress, it was also decided to change the time interval between Congresses from four to five years, scheduling the following Congress for 1973 in Chicago. At the subsequent Congress, held in New Delhi, India, in 1978, it was proposed to organize inter-Congresses. These smaller meetings enable countries which do not have the resources to hold a large-scale Congress to participate actively. IUAES inter-Congresses are held with varied frequency in the five-year interval between Congresses. To ensure the financial autonomy of the Union from its Congresses, in 1998 it was decided to again separate the presidency of the IUAES from that of each succeeding ICAES. The ICAES scheduled for 2008 in Kunming, China, had to be postponed by one year, and was held in 2009 as the IUAES World Congress. The next World Congress was held in Manchester, UK, in 2013. Topic: Congresses. I Congress 1934, London, UK, presided by the Earl of Onslow. II Congress 1938, Copenhagen, Denmark, presided by Thomas Thomson. III Congress 1948, Brussels, Belgium, presided by Ed de Jonger. 
IV Congress 1952 Vienna, Austria, presided by Wilhelm Schmidt V Congress 1956 Philadelphia, United States, presided by Froelich Rainey Vi Congress 1960 Paris, France, presided by Henry V Valois Seven Congress 1964 Moscow, USSR, presided by S. P. Tolstov Eight Congress 1968 Tokyo and Kyoto, Japan, presided by Maso Oka IX Congress 1973 Chicago, United States, presided by Sol Tax X Congress 1978 New Delhi, India, presided by Lalita P. Vidyathi 11 Congress 1983 Quebec City and Vancouver, Canada, presided by Cyril S. Belshaw 12 Congress 1988 Zagreb, Yugoslavia, presided by Hubert Maver 13 Congress 1993 Mexico City, Mexico, presided by Lourdes Arizpay 14 Congress 1998 Williamsburg, Virginia, United States, presided by Vincent H. Sutliv note, the original Congress president was Mario Zamora, but he died before this Congress began. 15 Congress 2003 Florence, Italy, presided by Brunetto Chiarelli 16 Congress 2009 Kunming, China, presided by Jing Jun Note, this Congress, originally scheduled for July 2008, had a one-year postponement 17 Congress 2013 Manchester, UK 18 Congress 2018 Florianopolis, Brazil Topic. Structure The IUAES has an administrative structure involving three bodies, the General Assembly, the Permanent Council, and the Executive Committee. The Executive Committee is the main regulatory body, making policy decisions on behalf of, and subject to the authority of, the Permanent Council. The Permanent Council consists of national delegations empowered to vote on any matters concerning the Union. The votes may follow discussions held at the General Assembly. The latter can also put forward proposals but has no decision-making authority. All policy decisions are implemented by the Executive Committee. The structural guidelines of the IUAES are given in its statutes, which have grown from a simple set of rules into an array of constitutional by-laws. The core officers of the IUAES Executive Committee are the President, the Secretary-General and the Treasurer, with the Secretary-General maintaining all records of the Union and supervising all communications, including the production and dissemination of new IUAES publications including newsletters and handbooks, as well as the designing and updating of the IUAES website. The current Secretary-General is Noel B. Salazar. The rest of the executive committee, that is, the past president, the vice presidents with the president of the following Congress acting as an additional vice president and the members at large, aid in the decision-making process. The scientific work of the IUAES is carried out by its commissions, which focus on particular topics of specialized interest. The IUAES commissions, of which more than 30 are currently recognized, NARS and Zhang 2009 to 460-461, determine their own administrative structure and set of activities, which generally include the organization of panels, workshops, and sessions at the quinquennial ICAES. Some commissions have been in existence for decades, while others have rapidly disbanded. Some commissions have their own websites, organize their own conferences, and sponsor the publication of journals or book series. Groups of commissions sometimes co-sponsor initiatives of common interest, and it is possible for IUAES members to be involved in the work of multiple commissions. Topic. Mission As stated in Article 3 of its statutes, posted on the IUAES website, the objectives of the Union are 
to develop international scientific and professional cooperation consistent with the Charter of UNESCO in the fields of anthropology and ethnology, in the broadest sense in which these are understood in different parts of the world, and related disciplines and areas of study to foster the development of scientific and professional institutions internationally and regionally to stimulate scientific and professional cooperation among institutions devoted to relevant fields of knowledge to cooperate with other international organizations, and particularly, though not exclusively, with the International Council for Philosophy and Humanistic Studies, the International Social Science Council, the International Council of Scientific Unions, and the International Council of Museums to develop appropriate roles for anthropology and ethnology in international interdisciplinary scientific endeavors to take appropriate steps to meet any other objectives consistent with the international scientific and professional concerns of the membership, as determined by the Permanent Council and the Executive Committee. Reaching these objectives requires the internationalization of anthropological practice through cross cultural exchanges based on inclusive, democratic, and intellectually pluralistic policies. These needs were formally acknowledged under the leadership of Cyril S. Belshaw, president in the period 1978-1983, who sensed that, "...the mood is to place the Union on an active footing." Belshaw, 1979-244 the IUAES Congresses and Inter-Congresses catalyze this process, which is also facilitated by the development and maintenance of efficient channels of membership-wide communication. Initially, news about the IUAES was disseminated through Current Anthropology, the journal of the Wenner-Gren Foundation, which also supported the IUAES. Starting in 1981, however, Dr. Eric Sunderland, the longest serving and one of the most influential, and beloved, IUAES Secretary Generals introduced a newsletter, which he continued to edit and distribute until he moved from his post to become president of the IUAES. Dr. Peter J. M. Nars, who became the next Secretary General, continued and expanded the publication of the newsletter, and also developed an official website, one, which rapidly became the central point of contact for the Union. The Williamsburg Congress of 1998 marked the end of a century of anthropology by highlighting that, "...no discipline is more important for teaching people about themselves and others, and how they may live together in the next century, than anthropology." Shah Shahani, 1999-5. It was also pointed out that, "...anthropology is either truly international or not at all." Gordina, 1999, VII. The IUAES, which celebrated the 60th anniversary of its founding in 2008, enters the second decade of the 21st century with a renewed sense of the importance of its mission, and urgency of its objectives. <laughs> <laughs> 